Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to integrate a custom GPT into Instagram. One of my previous videos where I showed how to do this for WhatsApp performed really well. I got a lot of positive feedback from you guys. So I decided to create another video, but this time we'll focus on integrating with Instagram. And on top of that, I'll provide you with some tricks and tips on how to make this chatbot run more efficiently. As always, I'll be sharing my screen, guiding you through a step-by-step -step tutorial, no coding required. Now, before we get started, you need to make sure that your Instagram account is ready for this integration. First, you need to switch your account to a professional Instagram account. Next, you need to allow access to messages. To do this, go to settings, then to messages and story replies, select message controls and under control tools, make sure to enable allow access to messages. Now, apart from adjusting your Instagram settings, you'll also need to set up your business portfolio in Meta. So when you go to business.facebook.com, you need to make sure you have a business portfolio created. Then within your business portfolio, go to accounts, and here go to Instagram account and add your Instagram account. It is already added for me. Then go to pages, make sure to add your Facebook business page as well. Um, it is already here. And then I go to connect assets and I connect my Instagram account, which is already done with this particular business page. Um, once it's all done, it is all kind of tied together. So I like to proceed this way and then you're ready to continue with the integration itself. For the integration, we are going to use the same tool we used for our WhatsApp integration. It is called Chatbase. You can find the link in the video description to sign up. Once you are signed up, create a new chatbot and let me walk you through the process step by step. So the first screen you'll be prompted to is data sources. This is where you can add your knowledge base files. Just a reminder, there are two key elements for creating a custom GPU right your knowledge base files usually they contain information about your business and custom instructions or prompt this is the guidelines that our chatbot should follow while replying to the messages so I have my knowledge base and my prompts already prepared my knowledge base file contains some information about the business uh, it is for serenity glow spa the same dummy business that we used for our previous tutorial um, there are some services offered like massages, um, skincare treatments, body treatments, uh, manicure, vaccine services, etc. So if I ask this chatbot about um, services offered, it should provide me with something like, like this. All right, so I'm going to add this as plain text because there are different options. You can attach a file and a website to crawl or just plain text. So let's just paste this here and click create chatbot. It will take a few seconds to process and once done, our chatbot is created. Then once it is created, I also want to add my custom instructions. So I go to settings tab, then to AI, and here I can amend my instructions. I'm going to copy my prepared prompt and paste it here click save and that's it. Now let's go to the connect tab and here go to integrations. We are going to connect it to my Instagram account. By the way, there is a great Instagram integration guide prepared by the chat based team. So you can follow it as well. It is very well prepared. Um, but I'm going to do it myself. So let's click connect. I understand. Now it will prompt you to uh, log in and uh, continue with Facebook. So I'm going to continue with my account. Click get started. I'm gonna log in to my Instagram account. Once you are logged in, it is going to redirect you to Meta. And here you need to select your business um, that you want to use. So in my case, it is Bosar, continue. Now you need to select your Facebook business page. Again, Bosar, continue. And then you need to select your Instagram account that you want to allow access to. So I've selected my Instagram account, click continue save and now it says instagram page added successfully and this connect page changed to manage it means that you have some connected instagram pages to manage the problem is that it seems 
that the integration is inactive. Okay, we deal with software and software can have bugs. Even the richest companies in the world like Meta or Microsoft, they can have bugs as well, especially when it comes to third party integrations with Meta. Very often it doesn't work uh, due to different reasons. The important thing is how quickly you can get it solved, how quickly the team behind the tool, in this case, the team behind Chatbase, can help you out, right? So a few hours ago, I did the exactly same integration and I had the exactly same issue. So I clicked this help button, raise the ticket, and it took like three hours for the support team, for the chat based support team to get back to me. They advised how to troubleshoot it, um, delete the current Instagram integration, integrate with Messenger, delete the Messenger integration, and reintegrate with Instagram. I'm showing this to you on purpose, first of all, to save you some hours of debugging and do it if you have the same problem. And second of all, to demonstrate the quality of the support of this tool, because, you know, I did not prepare it. That was uh, like real life case. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this right now. I'm going to delete this integration. I'm gonna go back to integration and integrate it with um, Messenger. Click I understand, continue. Let's select the same page, the same page. Click save, got it. Now it is connecting with Messenger. Facebook page is added successfully. Let's click manage. Now we are going to um, delete page. By the way, it is active here. Let, let's delete it as advised. Once done, go back to integrations and let's connect it again with Instagram. Click connect, I understand. Let's follow the same procedure, so I'll speed up the, the video. All right, and now it says Instagram page added successfully. Let's click on manage, and now it is visible as active. This is a tricky one, I would never do it myself, so really appreciate the customer support here. Um, let's test it out, so I'm gonna go to Instagram and message my Instagram account. All right, let's ask it, um, hi. It says, hello, welcome to Serenity Glow Spa. Great, so it is connected. Let's ask it, what are your services, okay? And it replies according to our knowledge base, um, skincare treatments, body treatments, all of that. Okay, exactly as it is in the knowledge base. Let's ask it one more question. Um, do you sell any spa products and let's see and it replied yes we do offer a selection of high quality spa products blah 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 skincare um body care so everything is according to my knowledge base great it works there are two cool features that i want to show you the first one is that you can connect multiple Instagram accounts. And this is great for the scalability if you want to scale a business. And another feature is that you can enable human takeover. This is very much requested by our clients, for example, at our AI agency. Um, this means that at any time you can enable this feature and instead of chatbots replying to your messages, um, you can manually reply to them as usual. So you can go to activity and here to chat logs and you can see on the right, if you hover over this icon, you can see human takeover is disabled. Just click it and you will enable the human takeover. From now on, you can reply to the messages for some specific reasons. Then you can click it again and disable human takeover. Pretty straightforward, but it's really helpful for businesses. All right, now let's discuss the useful tips on how to make your chatbot run efficiently and actually provide high quality replies, okay? So first of all, let's go to Playground. As an AI agency, we get a lot of questions from our clients. How do we ensure that there are no hallucinations? Well, there are many things we do, but one of them is a lot of testing and iterating, okay? And Chatbase made it extremely easy. Just go to Playground. Here you can click Compare. And now you can tweak different options. You can select different models. Um, you can change the temperature level. You can change your prompting and see how it, how it replies uh, in comparison to, to other settings. So for example, on the left, I'm going to have GPT-40, this current prompt, and the temperature will be 0 0.3. On the right, I'm going to select, I don't know, Claude um, 3.5 Sonnet, 
and uh, completely change my prompt. I am going to remove this task section and just leave it like that. And then I can ask one question here, another question here, and it will provide me with different answers. So I can make my conclusions based on, on particular settings and then come up with better prompting this way. So very convenient, but even more important is to improve the performance over time as it communicates with customers, with users. Um, you can train it with both positive feedback and negative feedback and actually revise the answers. And over time, you will just, you know, you spot those holes um, and uh, train it which expected response should be here, for example, uh, I ask, do you sell any spa products? And the expected response is no, we sell cars. So next time I click update answer, next time it is going to, to answer, we sell cars. So that's a great way to achieve the best possible performance, you know, to train it on real life charts and real life scenarios. So definitely use it over time. And one more feature I must mention here is this analytics tab. I believe it was added recently by the Chatbase team. Here you have a comprehensive report on um, the amount of messages, right? Total chats, total messages, um, and the countries that your users come from. But most importantly, and th this is really a great feature, you can see chats by channel. So assume you created a chatbot, an AI chatbot, you deployed it to your website, you integrated it to WhatsApp, and you connected it to your Instagram account and you provide customer service using different communication channels. So this way you can actually analyze which um, communication channels are used the most by your users and that way you can make conclusions about your business. That's absolutely amazing. And they also have topics here which is really great for businesses. Um, so I only had two conversations. One was about opening hours and another one about services. It was identified automatically by AI. So as a business, you can actually analyze which topics people are asking about and that way you can spot um, the area that needs your attention. You can also click uh, view all and then manage topics. And instead of having them created by AI, you can add a topic and manually create the name. And then the AI, based on the conversation context, will assign a particular conversation thread to your um, selected topic. And the last tab here is sentiment. Um, again, the AI is going to analyze the conversations and provide you with the report um, on the nature of those conversations, whether they were neutral, positive or negative awesome feature for businesses as well. And I think that would be it. As you see, it is becoming easier and easier to use AI for your business or for your personal needs. Um, these tools are evolving like crazy. Chatbase, for example, has increased. I mean, they have evolved significantly since I used them for the first time. Um, and more and more businesses will come on board. More and more businesses will be looking to implement AI in their business processes. And if you want to leverage this opportunity and actually learn how to build these advanced AI and automation solutions and sell them to businesses, I invite you to our AI fellowship program. Um, the link will be in the video description. Check it out. Also, if you are a business and you are looking to implement an AI solution in your business right now, feel free to reach out to our agency. The URL is bosar.agency and the link will be provided in the video description as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.